The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has stressed the need for a partnership with state's independent electoral commissions. The chairman of INEC, Professor Mamoudi Akubu, while meeting with a coalition of states' electoral body known as Forsycon, saying a joint collaboration will improve the quality and credibility of elections nationwide. Professor Yakubu says the commission will reconstitute an interactive committee aimed at improving the working relationship between both electoral bodies. And on the 21st of February 2018, the ESCO of the forum had a meeting with you in this very hall and also with some of your national commissioners present. And at that meeting, Mr. Chairman, we did propose the review of the MOU between your commission and the forum. In addition, you also proposed the quarterly meeting of the two electoral bodies. The chairman referred to the visit in February 2018, and we discussed the resource station and reconstruction of uh, the interactive committee so that we'll continue to interact with the Forsaken in a deeper way. We need to do this expeditiously to enable the committee to begin work in earnest to review, reawaken, and strengthen our MOU and to plan for our joint annual conference, which I propose should take place in the first quarter of 2020. Joining me to talk about this is Plus TV Africa's in-house news analyst, Ekene Ezeji. Thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure, as always. This is not the first time the um, Commission has said it will collaborate with other bodies to ensure credible elections. Do you see something coming out of this particular commitment? Yes, I mean, we're always hopeful because one of the areas we tend to see pitfalls in our systems in general is the fact that we lack an ecosystem. So, you know, some sort of in interaction between state and federal would be very helpful. The fact that they're starting now to make plans and suggesting that they meet quarterly, as you heard from the um, extract, tells you that hopefully they're, they're looking ahead and when they meet together, they will have some useful discussions. What we're looking forward to, though, is that they consult with us as much as possible to get our input as well. So the, the conversations are representative of our fears or our concerns. So in as much as they're talking about collaboration, which is very positive, we want to hear more discussions around electronic voting, things that matter, things that will take away, you know, since they're trying to make sure that they're, somehow they're more transparent and more, they take away the fear that somehow they're biased. We want to see electronic voting at the top of their agenda when they meet. So these are sort of things I feel they should feel the pulse of the people when they get together and begin to represent those things that matter. Yeah, like I said, we've had a series of collaborations, comment, um, comments about what they're going to do when they come together. Do you see an implementation of these resolutions that they finally get to when they sit together? You can only hope. You know, the main thing is that at least now they're having that discussion early. I know you've said, you know, obviously these have happened before, but if they're transparent, if they have these meetings, if they table, you know, they have MOUs and they table what they're discussing. And we also from the, the you say, the parameters, we're also keying into their discussions. Perhaps we can pressure them to begin to put things on the ground that will push towards 2023. So, you know, every move towards collaboration is, is always welcome. What comes out of, like you're saying, the collaboration is where we we are now going to all eyes will be on them to see as a result of your collaboration, what have you produced? What have you effected? One key issue would be independence of these bodies. And you know, the discussion has been had that financing could be a constraint on them, but it needn't be, you know, because obviously they're being financed by either the state government or the federal government. But that needn't be a reason why they don't represent the people's will when it comes to effecting a credible and transparent election. So let's Do have you these see discussions. That display in the Bayelsa Kogi elections? Because that's would be, we've been having conversations all this while. Would you see, would, what, what, in fact, what would you hope to see implemented from all the conversations heard so far? Well, this is why my priority would always go back to electronic voting. I just feel that if you have a system that takes out the, the, the people factor as much as possible, makes it transparent, makes it almost automated in a way, then you remove the loopholes, the opportunities for people to tamper. So let's move towards electronic voting. I can't say that repeatedly enough. Let's have these uh, collaborative efforts moving to much more seamless uh, transaction of where from the voter 
to the counting, to the you know, tabling of the final votes. Let's see those things happening. And then we're less likely to see issues, matters arising, where you now have to query whether they've been transparent or not. I want to say thank you very much for coming on the news. Thank you for having me. I appreciate me. your thoughts. Thank <laughs> you.